Let's clarify. Mastering questioning and responding in English. Hello language explorers, and welcome back to our English language learning series. In today's video, we are going to focus on asking for clarification. This is an essential skill to improve your conversational English and to ensure you fully understand what's being communicated. Specifically, we'll dive into pair work activities, where you and a partner can practice and enhance this skill together. Ready? Let's get started. Understanding every single word in a conversation is not always possible, and that's perfectly okay. But it's crucial to know how to ask for clarification when you don't understand or when you want to confirm what you've heard. It helps you avoid misunderstandings and lets the speaker know you are actively engaged. From a simple, pardon, to more complex phrases like, could you please elaborate on that? We'll cover them all. The art of asking for clarification involves politeness and efficiency. You want to make sure you're not interrupting the flow of the conversation while ensuring your understanding. Here are some commonly used phrases. 1. Could you please repeat that? 2. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Could you please say it again? 3. Would you mind explaining that in a different way? 4. Could you please clarify what you meant by? Remember, the tone of voice and body language also play a significant role in these interactions. Maintain a respectful and patient demeanor when asking for clarification. Now, let's move on to the main section of this video, the pair work activities. These activities are designed to provide you with real-world practice in asking and answering clarification questions. 1. Role play conversations. You and your partner can role play various situations, ordering at a restaurant, asking for directions, or having a casual conversation. One person intentionally incorporates complex phrases or unfamiliar slang, and the other person practices asking for clarification. 2. Summarize and confirm. In this activity, one person describes a picture or tells a short story. The other person then summarizes what they understood and asks for clarification on anything unclear. 3. Question and answer relay. One person asks a question, and the other responds. Then the first person needs to ask a follow-up question or ask for clarification on the answer. Keep the conversation going by taking turns. Remember. The goal here is to practice your English and become comfortable asking for clarification. It's okay to make mistakes. They are part of the learning process. And that wraps up our video for today, folks. We hope these pair work activities will help you improve your skill in asking for clarification, making your English conversations smoother and more engaging. Remember, the more you practice, the easier it will become. We're excited to see your progress, and we'll catch up with you in our next video. Until then, keep practicing and happy learning.